Defend the tower against the charging hordes of orcs. The winner will be the mage who squashes the most orcs by casting their spells most skillfully. Don't be shy to use a little foul play against your competitors. In this video, we focus on the game components and rules for Orcs Orcs Orcs, designed by Frank Tybin and published by Queen Games. There are three phases of the game. Reveal Orc Markers, Perform Actions, and Draw New Spells. The number of orc tokens used and placed at the ends of the paths are determined by the number of players. At the start of a round, a fate card is revealed. Fate cards serve two purposes. It shows which category of orc or orcs will move one space up their path towards the tower. Weak orcs are green, strong orcs are yellow, and brute orcs are red. The card also shows any special rules, if any. Special rules are in effect for all players during a round. The start player reveals one orc marker on every path that does not already have a revealed orc on it and places it with its matching stand-up orc. He then reveals another orc in any path but his own. On your turn, choose two of the three possible actions to perform. Teleport. Place your mage on any unoccupied space of the tower. By doing this, you can move yourself right in the path of an orc you want to fight or get yourself out of the path of an orc you want to avoid. You can always choose to pass. Sometimes you just don't have the right cards in your hand. If you choose to pass, your turn is over. Discard all cards from your hand. Draw four new cards from your own draw pile. Your third choice is to cast a spell. Now it's time to show the other mages what you got. There are spells of lore, attack, and support, all in four types of magic. Lightning, earth, fire, and water. A powerful spell works like this. You are on a path that has two orcs in one section of that path. One strong orc and a weak orc. Choose a spell from your hand of four cards. Ice Storm can do two hits of damage to all orcs in a single section. To activate this card, you need to add an additional card with the water icon on it. Right now, this spell is only as strong as the first line of icons. To activate the second line of icons, you would need to add another card with the lightning icon on it, increasing the card's spell power, but it is not necessary for this example. With this spell, you have squashed the weak orc. He is now added to your collection. The strong orc is hurt, but not out yet. Luckily, you have just the spell for him, Fire Spark. You only need to do one more hit of damage. So by simply playing the card, the first line of icons is in effect. He is now smashed. Once a spell is cast, discard any used cards to your discard pile. To keep track of the numbers and types of orcs you have squashed, the game includes a trophy board. An orc's life points. A mage must inflict this number of damage points in order to defeat the orc. It is important to note that an orc must be defeated in a single turn. If they are not, the orc regains its full life points and you or another mage has to start all over again. The Skull Track. For every two defeated orcs, you gain a special skill. In your case, you have squashed your second strong orc. Move the counter up and gain the skill to put a poison card on your opponent's discard pile, thus clogging his hand with useless cards. You have also squashed a weak orc. Move that orc's cube up his skull track. Orc category indicates the orc's strength. Weak orcs are green, strong orcs are yellow, and brute orcs are red. If you let an orc get to the tower, remove him from the game and move the white cube down on his track on the orc counter. The numbers of squashed orcs that you have are multiplied by this number at the end of the game, so don't let the orcs get to the tower. Additionally, if your mage was standing in the path of an orc that made it to the tower, you lose an orc of that same type from your collection of the slain. The game ends when at least four paths are completely cleared of any orc markers. 
Each player scores points for defeated orcs. The number of defeated orcs of each type is multiplied by the corresponding value of the orc counter. Spells of support in your deck gains you points as well. Any poison card in your deck deducts points from your total. The player with the most points is the winner of the game and declared Master Mage. Do you have what it takes to be the realm's most skilled mage?